I'll go to the superintendent's report. Curriculum Advisory Council, no update. Facilities Advisory Council, we met briefly last week. We, um, we walked the site. We have a, uh, a landscape plan, a rough landscape plan that I'll show when we get to old business under life safety capital improvements. We also discussed uh, two possible RFPs, requests for pricing for things related to some alternate energy in the parking lot area, and I'll speak to those under the life safety capital improvement items. In the packet tonight, you have the facilities um, rental agreement, and so every year the board uh, approves this in June, any changes so that they can take effect July 1. Uh, that is a, a, a source of revenue for us. At District 208 is renting out our facility. Um, and so there were just some minor changes to the pricing, and we try to update the pricing every two years, every two years to account for wear and tear, or uh, if we see that one facility is being used more than others and there's some additional wear and tear or security coverage or custodial coverage that's needed. Um, so there's some minor changes there. It's redlined and we'll ask for your board approval tonight. We went through that at Facilities Council as well. Finance Advisory Council met two weeks ago we were, and we went through the budget tonight. The Board of Education will receive uh, in their packet the first, uh, first read of the tentative budget. You'll have from today until the July board meeting uh, to review the budget and submit questions for Scott and I to review and answer at the July 11th Board of Education meeting. At the July 11th Board of Education meeting, we'll be asking for the board to approve a tentative budget. This works a little weird in education, but the budget cycle goes from July 1 through June 30th. You'll approve a tentative budget in July. It sits out for public display for at least 30 days. And then throughout August and September, we can make any minor changes that we need. We also can update it with the June 30 actuals. And then the board will approve the final formal budget in September, and that gets sent to the State Board of Education. So two things kind of happen. One is this tentative budget's out there so that people can see it. Um, and it gives a, a, a pretty solid snapshot of what our budget will be, except for some minor changes, and we report out on those each month until we go for formal approval in September. But it also gives the school and the departments and the different uh, groups an opportunity to start spending their money after Ju uh, July 1, so they at least have a rough idea of what their uh, budget will be. Um, also on the July board meeting, Scott will have a spreadsheet and a presentation on the assumptions to break down uh, what the big pictures are and, and uh, the things you need to be aware of in the budget or any significant changes. There is no report on personnel advisory and there is no report on policy. Okay. I can I ask just one question, the same one? When will we have the actuals? I mean, will we be able to... You'll the have budget? the June 30 actuals possibly by the July 11th meeting for sure for the August meeting. But I thought we didn't the tentative budget until we can see how it compared against the actual. That's no, it, uh, we, it depends on where the July meeting falls and when we get the numbers from the treasurer's office because you don't, we don't have control over when we get the June 30th numbers. So if they're in and there's time between the 4th of July holiday and the July 11th meeting, we try to get them input in. Okay. Um, if not, you'll have the, the month of August to review them and see if we need to do any tweaks before the September meeting. Okay. 